Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to share with you what's best to use after the ordinary AHA BHA peeling solution. And the ordinary generally recommends that you're going to keep it simple since you're using the mask only once or twice per week in your evening skincare routine. So what they do recommend is that you're going to finish it off with either any hydrators or you're going to finish it off with an oil. And this is your preference and also what feels the best on the skin. Now I'm going to give you some examples so that you can see what products I mean and then later on I also will put it into practice so that you can see how I'm going to use it when I'm rinsing off the mask, pat the skin dry and then apply the product. But I just want to mention one thing. I can't tell you, based on your skin, since every skin is different, what products you should choose. You have to try it. There's no other way around it. And some people prefer to use an oil, other ones prefer to stick with a moisturizer. And this is just how we are and also how we feel about it when also using those products. So please keep this in mind. But still, I wanted to show you some examples now also from The Ordinary. Those are, for example, the oils that The Ordinary also sells and most of them also add hydration and um, you can keep it simple, but if you also want to have some benefits to it, then also have a look at your skin concerns and based on that you are going to also choose the right oil that targets those concerns, which is also a great way how you can also identify it and narrow it down. But you also can do it very, very simple. For example, the pure molecules. This is where you can find the 100% derived squalane, which is kind of like an oil. It's suitable for all skin types and it's also non-comedogenic. So if you just want to keep it simple, just want to add hydration, this would also be an option. And then you also have the water-based serums and moisturizers. Now with the water-based serums, those can be used um, before you're going to finish it off with any oils or your moisturizer or those can also be used alone. And this is something that you have to try out and also how your skin feels. Some people just can use the water-based serums and that's basically it. Other ones prefer to finish it off later on with an oil and moisturizer. And then you also can keep it very simple and just finish it off with your moisturizer. The Ordinary has one moisturizer, but what if you don't have any of those products and you have, for example, the famous CeraVe moisturizer or also the La Roche-Posay moisturizer, etc. Well, as long as those moisturizers feel good on your skin, they won't irritate your skin. Also, if you're not using the peeling solution, then you're also fine to include them as your last step after you have also finished with, like using the peeling solution. That's totally fine. There's no right and wrong. It's mostly about keeping it simple and adding hydration to your skin. Now that you also know and also saw what products you can use, I just wanted to put it into practice and show you exactly how you can do it. So after you have a rinse of the mask and you pat your skin dry, you now can immediately move on to the next product application where you can add an oil or any other hydrators to the skin. There's no need to wait 30 minutes in between because this is just nonsense, sorry. You can directly move on, you have pat the skin dry, so you are fine to also add your product now to the skin. Now, if you want to use, for example, a water-based serum, such as the hyaluronic acid, then you can use this now immediately after you have rinsed off the mask, pat the skin dry. You can use this one alone or use this one um, also later on with another moisturizer or an oil. That's completely up to you, whatever feels the best on your skin. The same also goes with an oil or also with your moisturizer. If you want to use an oil and a moisture, that's totally fine. If you just want to use one of them, that's also okay. Go, like, please always keep in mind that it should feel comfortable on the skin, that it also shouldn't irritate your skin so that you also won't get any irritation but just feel good about the application. 
For me personally, I like to go with the rosehip seed oil and I also like to use a few drops of it, like, like three drops for the entire face and neck area. And then gently use it between my hands and apply it all over the face and neck. So, and after you did the application with the product that you love, then this is already it. This is just how simple it is. There's no need to wait in between. You can come straight to the point to also get the best experience. Now, this is also what I wanted to share with you. And I do hope now that you know what you can use after the AHA BHA peeling solution. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.